Hey everyone, welcome back to the analytical coding. So we have covered aggregate functions in our previous DAX series videos. And now we are diving into DAX filter functions. So these functions help us to modify filter context, extract specific data and perform advanced calculations in Power BI. So let's get started. So the first function we are going to cover is calculate. So the calculate function evaluates an expression in a modified filter context. So it is one of the most powerful DAX functions used to change the way filters are applied. So we know about aggregate functions like sum, average. So these functions can only take a column argument and do the aggregation like calculating sum of sales. But what if we need to calculate sum of sales for category electronics? So I cannot add a filter condition in sum function as it only takes a column but not filter. So here comes the functionality of calculate. So this function evaluates an expression in a modified filter context. So coming to its syntax, so it takes expression and filters. And coming to the arguments, the first argument expression, so it is the expression to be evaluated. And here, filters are optional. So these filters can be Boolean expression, which evaluates to true or false, or table expression, which applies table object as a filter, or filter modification functions, like all, all except, keep filters so which we will learn in our next video and which provide you extra control when modifying filter context and coming to its written value it returns a single scalar value that is the result of this expression so let us see an example to understand this calculate function clearly example that calculates the total sales for the electronics category so i have created a measure where we are calculating the sum of quantity for products category electronics. That means, so first of all, this calculate functions check the first argument. That is what we are going to calculate. So here the expression is sum of quantity. And then before evaluating the expression, it checks whether there are any filters. Yes, we are having a filter that is category is equals to electronics. So it first filters for category having electronics. And then after the filtering, perform this sum function on sales quantity column. So in this way, it evaluates the expression on a filter and returns a scalar result. And here in this card, we are having this measure. So this measure returns this scalar value. And now let us add this measure along with all the other categories into the table. So you can see that for each and every category, we are getting the same value and the value is total quantity we are having under electronics. So that is being displayed for all the other categories as well. Why? So let me show you an example of total quantity. So here I just added sum of sales quantity and let me add this into the table as well. Now you can see that total quantity is again divided for each category. That is, so it first calculates the total quantity for all the categories. And when I add this total quantity into a table that contains category column, now this total quantity measure evaluates in this way. So it is first calculated for accessories. And for the second row, it is calculated for electronics. So for each row, it is getting calculated. So it is being dynamically calculated based on the filter context. Whereas this calculate function is not getting calculated for each row. Instead, it is overwriting the filter context. So this calculate function modifies the filter context. That is, it overrides the any filter with its filter it which it applied okay and if we add customer you can see that here this function is calculating total quantities ordered by customer one for electronics category 
and in the second row it displays the total quantity order from the electronics category by the second customer so in this way this function only evaluates the electronics category as we have filter here right so this is how calculate function works now let us get into the next function that is calculate table the calculate table function returns a modified table instead of a single value applying filter street so in the calculate function we have seen that it applies filters and then calculate the sum of quantity like customer is equals to customer 1 and then calculates the sum of quantity for the customer 1 whereas calculated table will return a table after applying the filters so coming to its syntax so calculate table takes the table expression as the first argument and here the filters are same like these are optional and they can be either boolean expressions table expressions or filter modifier functions right so as calculate table filters a table so in order to filter a table we need to have a table expression right so then only we can apply filter on it so the first argument is a table which we need to modify and what this function returns so this function returns a table with the applied filters so let me show you here suppose this is the table we are having now I want to calculate a table with some filters like I want to calculate a table for the customer one what this calculate table function do so whatever the filter we provide like I have provided the customer as C1 and click on OK you can see that so this is the table for customer one so the calculate table will return this table after applying the filter so this is the function of calculate table and it returns a table so we know that a measure will return a scalar value so we cannot directly use calculate table in the measure but we can use it under the table tools that is new table so here new table will return the table so that is why we are using our calculate table function directly in this new table function so here i have written a function that is calculate table and within that i have given the table expression that is sales table and then i have given the filter i wanted to apply so the same filter category is equals to electronics okay now this function returns complete sales table by filtering its products category to the electronics and when i click on enter here you can see this this is a table where the category is electronics you may ask me a question that here i am not using the category directly from the sales table but i am using the category from the products table so this sales table is connected to the products table using the product id so hence in this way this sales table is getting filtered for the category electronics so this is a table that this calculate table function returns now you may ask me how can i use this calculate table in the measure so let us see an example how can we use this calculate table in our measure so yes you can see here we have already discussed that count rows function will take table as an argument so here this calculate table function returns the table and I want to know the number of rows in that table written by this table expression. Okay, let me add this measure into this card value. And you can see that this returns the 44. And when I go here, you can see we are having the 44 rows. Okay, that means this function is similar to the calculate, but instead of returning a single value, it returns a table with the modified filter context so now let us get into the next function that is filter so the filter function returns a subset of table that meets a specific condition so it is often used inside the other tax functions to modify their calculations coming to its syntax so filter table comma filter condition 
so here the table is which we wanted to filter so it can also be an expression that results in a table and next one is filter condition so it can be a boolean expression that is to be evaluated for each row of the table okay now as this function also returns a table we cannot directly use this in measure so let us see it in the table function so similar way we have to click on the new table and so i have written this measure so here i want a table sales filtered by total sales greater than 500 that means i want to filter this sales table where the total sales are larger than 500 so here you can see that in this table we are having all the values in the total sales columns greater than 500 right so this filter function returns a table by applying a filter condition how this worked internally so this filter function checks each row whether sales amount is greater than 500 if so it adds that row and checks for next row so in this way this function evaluates whereas the calculate table function will not check each row instead it modifies the whole table at once okay now let us see how can we use filter inside a measure right let us go back to the report view and here we are having the filter measure so again i am using the count rows function which takes the table expression as an argument and within that i have given this filter as the table expression because it returns a table right so here i have filtered the sales table for customer id which is equals to the one okay now let us add this into our card let me clear this and add filter table now you can see that we are having seven rows for customer one let us check this in this table yes we have seven rows that is this function returns correctly and now so what if i add a filter through the slicer that customer id as two you can see that this function returns blank value because we have filtered that function for only customer one then how calculate table works for other categories so let us check that i have added the another card visual for calculate table measure so for this one so here we have filtered for electronics now let me filter this category for accessories you can see that this value is not getting changed even i change the categories right but here you can see that if i change the customer id to c2 you can see this filter table is getting affected either it just it shows the blank but anyhow it changes the value right whereas this calculate table is not getting changed for any other categories because we have filtered that category as electronics right that means this calculate table function overrides any filter context on category column to the electronics category value so whereas if we select other customer ids the filter function will display blank values instead of rows of the customer one so it does not modify or override the filter context so filter refines the table but it does not override filters globally like calculate so coming to the key differences between the calculate table and filter function so you can see that this calculate table function modifies the filter context and returns a table and coming to the filter function it iterates row by row and then returns the filter table and coming to its application calculate table filters at the column level that is entire table at once whereas this filter function filters each row individually so it checks for the value in each row and coming to the context modification calculate table overrides the filter context whereas filter table modifies the filter context without replacing it and coming to the performance calculate table is faster for larger data sets whereas filter function is slower for large data sets and coming to the use case suppose we need to calculate the total sales from the main branch 
so i have added a card visual by filtering for the main branch so whatever branch the user selects the main branch card will not get affected right because we have used the calculate table so in that context we can go with the calculate table but if we want a card visual that displays blank values for the remaining selections except the filter condition then we have to go with the filter function so these are the differences between calculate table and filter i hope you understood clearly about calculate calculate table and filter function if you have any doubts please do comment in the comment section i will try to reply it or i will make a separate video on your doubts that's a wrap on part 1 of tax filter functions so we covered calculate calculate table and filter with examples so stay tuned for part 2 where we will explore more advanced filter functions don't forget to like share and subscribe for more power bi content thanks for watching